The news of a plane being found in the Blue Creek area in northern Belize came to our desk this past Wednesday. And while it was difficult to confirm that information at that time, today, the Minister of National Security, John Saldivar, did just that as he spoke at an event at Price Barracks in Ladyville Village. Saldivar was not giving any details of the find, but rather he spoke of that plane being added to the two aircrafts that the government of Taiwan will be sending for Belize. And you may or may not have been aware that a few days ago, the BDF also captured a Bell 407 helicopter, which will now bring our number to three once we get the two from the Taiwanese government in November. And while Saldivar gave no details of the aircraft and what it was doing in Belize, we spoke with Brigadier General David Jones, who gave us an update. I won't be at liberty, liberty to give you much information on that Bell helicopter. Um, that was a police operation. Um, what the police, after the aircraft was, um, was probably um, captured, in the, I believe it was in Blue Creek area, our Belize Defense Force pilots were requested to fly the helicopter in. That happened on Wednesday sometime about 3 o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. And then I was called later on and requested to find out if our pilots can fly it. It's a Bell 407 helicopter. And our pilots um, were able to fly it, so they went to Blue Creek. And the aircraft is now sitting at our air wing. We've tried to find information in regards to the tail number that's on it. Uh, we've checked with our partners in, in Mexico. We've also checked with our partners all the way in Colombia, and they cannot ascertain um, who really owns that helicopter. What they've informed us that it, the, the tail numbers on it may be misleading as to who owns it. So it's, it's not ascertain at the moment who owns the helicopter. The fact is that we have the heli helicopter now in custody and it's over at our airway. I can't say yes, it's going to be for the government of Belize yet because it's an ongoing investigation. Um, someone may come to claim it. It's unlikely, but it, there is a possibility someone may come and claim it. It had a, a fuel pump apart from the tank that holds the fuel. There was a pump inside the helicopter itself that when the main tank runs out, there, there were extra fuel inside the main cabin to pump fuel back into the tank. So uh, based on that, we suspect, we cannot say for sure, we suspect it was used for illegal activity. According to Jones, the plane had no clearance to be in Belize's airspace, and the officials of the Belize Police Department are continuing their investigations. Looking at that helicopter, it didn't have um, anything luxury in it. The way uh, it looked as if though it was um, going to be used for a long-distance patrol, because the, the, the portion where we had the seats, those were replaced by fuel containers. So it is packed with fuel containers so that when it reaches a certain journey, they can just refuel while in the air, or they can go on the ground and refuel again. We cannot ascertain exactly right. what it was used for because we have, I guess the police would have to answer those questions because they, I don't know if they've spoken to anyone as yet. Have you been able to ascertain whether it has had clearance to basically be in our airspace? I don't believe it did um, because the police would have indicated that to us. But this, uh, this uh, investigation has been led by the police. Um, um, they haven't indicated that it had any clearance. According to some residents of the area, there were four Caucasian men who exited the plane and that the landing was done due to bad weather. But the police and the BDF are doing checks to see who the registered owner is and where it came from. Love News understands that the identification found on the plane was a fabricated one and that a microchip was located on the plane that would be able to help in the investigation in terms of the routes that the plane has flown.